YouTube, we'd like you to meet Louis, Harry, Ben, Will, and Matt. We persuaded them to join us on a rather mad trip across India. You see, we spontaneously signed up for an event called the Ritual Run, which means we're driving these bad boys across the country. Our aim is to travel 3,500 kilometers across the width of the country in under three weeks, while raising as much money as possible for the Teenage Cancer Trust. This is the Ritual Run. This is Jack. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> tired. <laughs> we are up very early because we're going to India today, right now, this morning. Tell me about what happens now. Uh, well, we're here very early in the morning and we're waiting for the rest of the team to turn up. Uh, all the other boys, five of them, shall be turning up at Heathrow Airport. Uh, and then we commence our 12 hours of travelling. I'm a little concerned about the fact that this is like this is the first time that all seven of us are going to have got together uh -huh. and properly like hung out and spent time together. Like, what if some of the guys don't get on? Then we could be stuck with people for three weeks we don't get on with. And the way it's going to work is that everyone's bringing a little point-and-shoot camera, like the one we're filming on today. Uh, and as of today, everyone's going to start filming on their cameras for the next three weeks. And we're going to try and document every moment of what happened in the next three weeks. And I guess, I guess this is the first episode of the Rickshaw Run. Enjoy. Hope it's good and stuff. Mumbai boarding. The next step was a nine hour flight to Mumbai. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. 54 years straight. Thank you. Yeah. Have a row each. Yeah, I've got my own row. It is a pleasure to look after your company. Yeah. Great. Thank you. So, we've finally arrived at Mumbai Airport and we've now got a two hour wait to our flight to Guwahati. From Mumbai, we took a five hour flight to Guwahati and stopped off at Calcutta. By the time we'd arrived, the lack of sleep was starting to get to us. We've been travelling for 17 hours straight now. <laughs> We've arrived, Max. Yay! So we've arrived at Gawahati Airport and I think we're all a little bit tired. Yeah! <laughs> yes. So we grabbed our bags and head outside to meet a taxi driver who drive three hours to the town of Shillong. Just in case you're interested, that's a goat right there. First impressions, Jack. Well, these are what we're going to be driving for the next three weeks, and just seeing them in person has actually made me feel really scared. Like, I've been imagining this trip for months, but looking at them now and thinking I'm going to sit in that for the next three weeks is a terrifying thought. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> what am I signing myself up for? After three hours of driving through gorgeous Indian countryside, we finally arrived in the town of Shillong. We've arrived, finally. I feel like we've been driving for, like, days. As we made our way up the hotel stairs and checked in, we realised that we had a bit of an issue. Jack, what's happened, man? I've lost my Canon 5D. I think no, I left it in the cab. The Canon 5D was our main camera, and without it, we'd be pretty screwed. Did we check it? Do you want to run down? I don't think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, can I have a little on the roof? Car. Can I get that on the roof? Backside, it's not on the roof. Anything? Well, no luck, we cannot find it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if I lost my camera. First day of the trip. Okay, check this out, right? So this was earlier, Louis was filming. This is a taxi we got out of. And then look, if you look behind Louis's head, right about here, that's my camera there on the roof. A CCTV camera right there. How are you feeling, man? I'm more upset about the footage that I might potentially lose rather than the camera itself. And also, it's like the start of the journey, I don't, just, I don't know, I don't can't put it into words. So, so this angle here. Oh, this is going to guys. Yeah. It was on the top of the car when you parked it. Yeah. It's too it's Yes, yes! yes. This guy had stolen our camera right outside the hotel entrance. What's the next course of action? The hotel trying to work out what they know. 
even if they call him up, like, it's not going to just bring it back. Or he'll snap the SD card which has the twist on it. What are your thoughts, Finn? It's bad. I just spoke to reception, apparently he's bringing it back. Apparently it was a tourist taxi, they called him up, they knew who it was, and he's bringing it back. No way. No way. This is the weirdest set of events. This gentleman has returned my camera. Oh, I'm oh, so relieved. What are the chances, yeah. man? I know. And the SD card's still on the Next stop was to take a taxi to the local polo ground where all the rickshaws were being held. What are we going to do today? We're going to go see our uh, rickshaws. For um, the first time. For the first yeah. time. We yeah. haven't seen them yet. First we went and registered with the organisers. Sure. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Max. Nice to meet you. Mate. Well, hi. Then we met Namita, who would act as our fixer, and Prim, who would be the driver. We persuaded them to join us on our three week trip. They'd be crucial in helping us carry some of our equipment and also keeping us alive. So we've arrived at the tucked up place where they have all the rickshaws lined up, all the ones that have paint jobs done. The next one here, and hopefully we're going to pick out our three. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous! Yeah, the seats. Max, what are you saying about this, man? This so much space. So nice. Yeah, we've got so much space. Oh, man, it's amazing. Yeah. So, so good. What are you thinking, Ben? This is sick. We found one of the tuk-tuks. We found the other two. That's another one there. Sick. Jack Scout. There's another one behind there. Well, this is real. I got out. It's some little, like, dream graphic design we have on the computer. Yeah. It's now, like, a full-on real tuk-tuk in India. Nice job. Boom. <laughs> this is the first tuk tuk. She's called Mary. She's a blue one. In this tuk tuk, it's going to be me and Max. She's by far the best tuk tuk. Then, over here, we have Elizabeth. She's the green one. And over here, you've got the worst one of the lot Victoria. The best, the best one. Definitely not the best. Next, it was time to take them for a little bit of a test drive. The bricks. Lots of trouble here. Oh, no, that, okay, that's in first now. Okay, so that you're in first. Yeah, 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 now we're in neutral. Yeah. We're in neutral, we can do this. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> no, Jack, you gotta pump it. Just pump it up and down. Yes! With just one day to go, we head down to the market to grab a couple of supplies. We've located the most ghastly material we can find and we're going to get out the seeds with it. <laughs> I think the boys are going to be really annoyed about our choice of colour. We're going to try and find some baskets. These baskets look suitable. 350. There we go. Right, let's go. Moving on, moving on. It's getting seriously busy now. Okay, we have material for the seats now. Now all we need is foam and some dongles for the side of the What do you think? Three of these. The yellow ones are fantastic. Okay, we have our flowers. Now we need to go get some foam. We have foam. Times two. We have the last thing on our list. So back in the car with all the stuff we need. Uh, now we're gonna head back to the playing field where the tuk-tuks are, meet the boys and apply it all to the tuk-tuks. I'm feeling a little bit worried because we're seriously lacking on time. We leave at 11 a.m. tomorrow and we still need to do all the seats, put all the awnings on the outside, uh, put flags on the tuk-tuks, sort out the inverters, sort out the speakers, and also work out our room. Hopefully we'll get it all done in time. 
Jack, come and look at this. Look under here, look under here. We've literally been in the maddest mission. We've been running around town, stacked, crazy busy, trying to get all these little things with tuck tucks, like clothes, seeds, all those to the side. We've got everything, man. Sick. Bad mission. Back at the polo ground, everyone was working flat out to make sure that the rickshaws would be ready for the next morning. It's absolutely nuts. We've got about an hour till dark. Boys are working full out. Yeah. All the ornation stuff, flowers are going up, we're getting some seats for sponge. That looks fantastic. Oh. Material on there. How are you doing? I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are working so hard. Max is literally, his hair is dripping yeah. with sweat. <laughs> Today has been absolutely mental. All the boys went off to get the other stuff. Me and Max stayed behind. And we were sorting out all the batteries in the tuk tucks. We were relocating the batteries which were in the back all the way to the front so we could link in the inverters and the power so we can charge all our stuff. And it was a bit of a feat, wasn't it? It was stressful. I mean, I'm dripping. If you can't see my t-shirt, it's covered in oil. Um, we've been absolutely manic today. It's been so busy. Everyone's been yeah. running around doing their own thing and shopping for stuff that we didn't even know we needed, like chicken wire to tie stuff down. Just spent the day just working on these three beautiful machines. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I don't know that they'll last all the way across India. I think some of the flowers might come off. Yeah. There'll be a few breakdowns, but it's part of it. As the sun went down, we continued to make some finishing touches. Just working late into the night, doing the last kind of finishing touches and stuff. What's going on, Jack? So it's the end of the day, we're just making some very last minute adjustments. Apparently one of the common problems is that the exhaust falls down while you drive. So we're doing a very, yeah, we're doing a very handmade job of attaching fishing wire to the exhaust and then up into the body of the tuk tuk so that if it does come loose, it holds into it. So it's the end of the night. We've parked up. We're leaving tomorrow, and we've pretty much got everything sorted. There might be a few little other things, but pretty much there. We literally finished in the nick of time. It's the end of the night. Go back, get some sleep, and back up tomorrow morning. So happy with the effort today. Today's the day. Today is the day. Let's do it. As we took out the tuk tucks for one last time, the reality of what we were about to do started to settle in. I'm literally so excited. I'm like bubbling with excitement. I can't contain it. I'm just like trying not to scream with excitement. I'm just like, <laughs> stay cool, stay cool. You excited, Louis? Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> really excited now. It's going to be absolutely manic. Everyone's just kind of doing their last minute prep. Uh, we're just filling up these beautiful, beautiful babies full of fuel. And we're going to be on our way with a police escort. I just want to get on the road now. I want to go. I want to get in. I want to drive it. I'm literally shaking with like adrenaline. There's just everyone's here beeping their horns. We've got all the cameras rolling. Music playing. We're about to travel across India. What the fuck? I love you, man. I love you, man. Come here. Dude, I'm so excited. We're literally minutes away from starting the race. Everyone is really excited, a little bit nervous, but this is amazing. It's such a great atmosphere. Enjoy yourselves, have fun, and uh, best of luck, because uh, you're going to need it. This was it. The start of the most epic adventure we would ever experience. Yeah! Many more breakdowns to come, I think. Not how I imagine the first day going, to be honest. Ow! We've not died yet!